Hello everyone, I am Nakul Shet from Beat Oxygen Academy. In this video, we will discuss about SQLite database. When you are creating an application or a website, the first thing we require the data of different user. It might be username, email ID, password, profile photo and other information. So the question arises how and where we are going to store those data. We can store those data using shared preferences that one of the option we have. We can store inside our internal storage or we can use external storage as well. Next way is using internet. Example, if you are using an application in which you have stored all the information on the server side. It might be your login details, it might be questions, it might be subject notes, it might be videos. All of those items are stored on the server. So the app can able to download all of those data just because it is fetching all of this data from the server using internet. And the next way is SQLite database. So now we are talking about what is SQLite database, why we require SQLite and where we use it. First question is what is SQLite database. In a simple language, SQLite is a relational database in which we can perform different database operation same as other databases do. You can create table here, you can fetch data from table, you can insert data from table, you can do all of those stuff by using SQLite. But the difference is these databases will store in a .db file but SQLite databases store all of those data into .txt file that is a text file. The reason is Android doesn't have that much of capacity to store and fetch data from .db file directly. So it is used text file. Second question, why we require SQLite? So we already have Oracle, we have MySQL, we have SQL Server, then why we require yet another relational database? If we are talking about MySQL, Oracle, SQL Server, these are client server databases and if we are talking about SQLite, this is a standalone database. Standalone database means it doesn't require any client server architecture to store and fetch data. Second use of SQLite is in a technology that nowadays we are moving to which is IoT means Internet of Things. In IoT, everything around you is internet enabled. It may be your fan, tube light, AC, fridge, including your watch as well. So these are connected with the internet and these devices are also known as intelligent devices which has small amount of data. And if you want to store those small amount of data, it doesn't require MySQL, SQL Server or any other client server databases. The only thing we require is SQLite which is a local database. So it is easy to insert and fetch data from a local database or a lightweight database compared to server. That's why we are using SQLite. Now the first question SQLite or what is SQLite? It is a software in which you can write queries or you can perform different database operations. Why, why we require? Because all of those different databases are worked on the client server architecture and we don't need any client server architecture to fetch and store data into SQLite. Now the question where to implement this SQLite and where to use this SQLite. You can use SQLite anywhere which doesn't have huge amount of traffic on the network. Example is SQLite can be used to build a website if a website doesn't have concurrent operations which means a website cannot perform more than one operations at the same time. So we will not create that kind of website which doesn't perform more than two operations at the same time. So we should not use SQLite in the website. So when we use SQLite, we will use SQLite in an embedded software. We can use it on smart AC, smart fridge or any other IoT devices. Second use is, if you are building an Android application, we can use MySQL to store those huge amount of data to server side. And if you want to store small data in Android, we can use SQLite as a database. So this is all about what is SQLite, why we use SQLite and where we should use SQLite. This is all about introduction part of SQLite. Next video, we are going to show how we can use SQLite database to build an Android application. If you have any query, contact me on info.beatoxygen at the red gmail.com. I have provided this email ID in description below. So that's all from my side. Thank you for watching this video. Do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel Beat Oxygen Academy for more tutorials. 
you can also find us on instagram as we have user id detoxygen_academy thank you